Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Today I'm going to be going through how you draw a spring in Shaper 3D. A nice, easy, quick tutorial. Um, if you find this tutorial helpful, please do subscribe to my channel and let's get started. So for starters, I'm going to go on the view cube and I'm going to click round until we get onto the front plane. And then I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to keep my finger on control and zoom in. I'm on Mac. So if it, it might be a different shortcut to zoom in on Windows, but I'm using the control key, not the command key. Um, and then if you go to sketch, draw a circle, and I'm going to draw a circle on the x-axis at uh, 10 mil. 10 mil radius. In fact, make it a tiny bit smaller. Make it 5 mil. 5 mil radius, and then just to make sure I've got my dimensions right. Yeah, so it's 100 mil from the center of the z-axis and the origin, and that's what I'm gonna use uh, for the center of my revolve. So if I come out of that and click close, go to tools, and then go down to revolve, click the z-axis. So if you're wondering which axis this is, if you look up um, at the view cube, you've got the Z indicating that that's the Z axis, and it's also blue on the f on the front plane. So I'm going to click the axes, and then I'll click the circle, and then what it does is does a 360 revolve around at no height. So what if I start pulling this? It does that one 360 revolve at whatever height I set it to, so at the minute it's set to 125, so what I'm going to do is set the entire height of the actual spring to 200, and then it's still rotating round one, uh, 360. So what I'm going to do, to change this, it depends how many rotations in your spring you want, If you, but I'm going to go for 10, so that's 3,600. And now I've got 10 rotations, if you want a nine, you just take um, 360 off that. If you want a two, it's just 360 times two. If you want a three, it's 360 times three. But that's a very, just tick done. And that's a very nice, easy way to draw a spring in Shaper 3D. Hope you found this little tutorial helpful, nice and quick. If you have, please do subscribe to my channel to support. And thanks for watching.